After the defeat at Gorgamela, Darius fled to the mountains, gathering what troops he could. Though keen to pursue him, Alexander first secured the key cities of central Persia. Babylon and the administrative capital Susa offered no resistance, and in so doing avoided any rough treatment from him. The Persian royal palace lay southeast of Susa at the ceremonial capital Persepolis, with mountainous terrain in between. Alexander's general, Parmenian, took the baggage train along an easier but longer northerly route, whilst Alexander took the shorter route through the mountains. In a high, narrow entrance, known as the Persian Gates, Alexander encountered a strong Persian force, commanded by the satrap Ariobazanes. The Persians seemed to be in an unassailable position, but a local shepherd showed Alexander a hidden path, which enabled him to outflank and rout them. Defenseless now, Persepolis too surrendered, leaving the Macedonians free to loot its treasury and burn the palace down. Now Alexander was free to take up the pursuit of Darius once more. At camp one night, Alexander received word that Darius had been found bound in golden chains and close to death in a wagon beside the road. Unwilling to run any further, the Persian king had been stabbed and left for dead by his desperate generals. Alexander honored the dead king, burying him with full ceremony and vowing vengeance on his killers. It seemed that all that remained for Alexander's victory to be complete was to subdue what little resistance remained in northeastern Persia. Once that was achieved and garrisons were established throughout the region, his men may have looked to enjoy the fruits of their labor as masters of the known world. Alexander's ambition seems to have found a new focus at this point, and the first seeds of dissent among his men were sown. Decreeing that his men should each take a Persian wife, he seemed intent on integrating the Greek and Persian cultures. He had Parmenian murdered after executing his son for supposed treachery, and in Bactria he killed Clytus during a drinking bout. The core of his army remained loyal though, even when in 326 BC his attention fixed upon India as his next conquest. In accepting the submission of the Indian city of Taxides, Alexander made an enemy of King Porus, who ruled the lands to the east. Porus gathered an army of perhaps 60,000 infantry, cavalry, chariots and elephants, and awaited the Macedonians on the far bank of the river Hydaspes.